this is Rocket and today I'm going to show you the jumper effect. The jumper effect will go like this. So that is it. So um, I made a new composition and I'm going to put my footage in. Okay, so uh, I'll stretch this out, and then right about the frame you're about to jump, trim it down there. Make this there. So you trim that there. So um. Okay. Then what you do is duplicate it, press Command D or Control D if you're using Windows. And then you. Um, when you appear back, like jump down. You just trim it to there and then put it closer to the other video. And then you should have a background. I have it. So, uh, okay, so. I think we should put this a little bigger. Okay, now you have to make a new layer. Uh, any color, any solid, just press OK and then we'll already typed in fractal noise. Just, yeah. And then you, the contrast should be 115 and the brightness should be minus 10. And in transform, it says uniform scaling. Check that, and it's good. So I turn this off for a minute, and then when it so right when four frames before you're about to like disappear, you. Scale your thing down, your solid, and then you rotate it to the size you want. Make it big at first because what we're going to do is I will show you. And you have to press. You had to press solid and then you had to do S, Shift, R. Scale and rotation. So you had to make this, uh, you had to, uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, click the time watch, time frame, and uh, on scale. And three t frames after, you had to scale this down. So, it'll be like that. Oh, first you had to trim this a little bit down. So, okay, okay, this is good, but first you had to, uh, rounded rectangle, you do, you press this, and you press black solid, and you double click the icon, and then you, 
on the mask, you press F for mask feather and type in 117. That's really good. And then after that, you press Luma inverted mat on the footage you want to. And then it'll create this cool effect right here. It looks really cool. So, this is how it looks so far. So, yeah, so. You could trim this a little down. So this is now how it look. Okay, that's good. But if I jump back in right here. So I just duplicate the black solid and put and move it down over my second footage where I come back in so uh, I had to see this so yeah, it'll be masked so it'll be careful when you do the key frames and everything. I think that's okay, so inverted. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's probably that is it for the tutorial. So, I'll see you in the next video.